Roger Goodell's been commissioner of the NFL since 2007, and today he's choosing my Mutt team. Starting with the first overall pick of last year's draft. The Jacksonville Jaguars. We already know who this is. Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. It looks like Trevor's best card is this 96 overall rising star. I don't even know when he got this, but we've got a quarterback. We're choosing by pick history, working our way back through all of Goodell's drafts until we fill every position. So once we've gone through all first overall picks, we'll go to the second overall pick and so on. There are literally so many quarterbacks drafted first overall. And since we already have our quarterback, we're just looking for the next available position that has a card in Madden. Now we go all the way to 2017. The Cleveland Browns select... Miles Garrett. We got a defensive end. Thankfully, he's got a 96 overall team of the year card. So we got two 96s on the team already. And we continue on to the year 2014. The Houston Texans select Jadavian Clowney. Another edge rusher. Clowney's got a lot of cards in this game, but there's ultimately one that's his best. And that's a free agent, Jadavian Clowney. For 330,000 coins, this team's going to be so expensive. And we've already got two really good ends that are really good pass rushers. We're on to the second overall pick starting in 2018. The New York Giants select... Saquon Barkley. An absolute stud. He's got to have a really good card, right? I was wrong. His best is an 89. Not good that our running back is going to be an 89 overall. The Denver Broncos select... Von Miller. Von Miller, the recent Super Bowl champion. He's got a lot of cards. I think that's because he was a legend, but obviously his best card is a 97 overall Redux for 150,000 coins. I'm telling you right now, our defense is looking scary good. Offense, not so much. The Detroit Lions select and Dominican Sue. Dominican Sue from the 2009 NFL draft. It says he's a right end in Madden, but it was drafted as a D tackle, so that's what he's going to play for us. We're going to get this 89 overall because I don't have the one from solo challenges. Oh man, this guy's only an 83 overall when he's at defensive tackle. Going all the way back to 2007. Look at how young Goodell looks. The Detroit Lions take Wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. Probably the best Lions pick they've ever had. Wide receiver, Calvin Johnson. Has a decent amount of cards from throughout the year, including a sweet free safety card, but we're obviously going with his wide receiver card. For 218,000 coins and 98 overall, this is one of the best receivers in the game. But at least we've got our first high-powered offensive weapon and a wide receiver one. That's all for the second overall pick. Now let's go to the third. Another high overall Lions pick. What do you know? The Detroit Lions select Jeff Okuda. Jeff Okuda. We got our first cornerback. I don't even know if he has any good cards this year. No, he only has a 70 overall card. Are you serious? Our cornerback one is going to be a 70 overall Jeff Okuda. That is not what you want to see late in the Madden year. The New York Jets select Quinnen Williams. Quinnen Williams, our second defensive tackle. I hope he has a better card than Indomitian Sue does. And our first of probably many Jets high overall picks. Oh, good. He's got a 96 overall defensive tackle card from Madden Machines. And Quinnen Williams has taken our DT1. Back in the year 2015, here comes Goodell. The Jacksonville Jaguars select... Dante Fowler Jr. Dante Fowler Jr. He recently got a card too. And of course it was the Jaguars. This is basically becoming a Jaguars, Browns, and Jets themed team. I can't believe at a right outside linebacker, this card is 450 thousand coins he was listed at defensive end in the draft but we're gonna put him at right outside linebacker because that's what his card is in this game another strong defensive position filled all the way back to 2007 cleveland browns select left tackle joe thomas we've got our first offensive lineman joe thomas has a lot of cards he's got legends he's got team diamonds he's got limiteds but his team diamonds the best at a 95 overall and we have our first offensive lineman with joe thomas probably one of the best of all time on a pick number four overall starting in 2021 i think we all know who this is the atlanta falcons select Kyle Pitts. The beastly tight end slash wide receiver out of Florida. He did not get as much love this year as I thought he would cards wise. He did get a 98 overall Sugar Rust recently, so that's the one we're going to add because he's an absolute beast. Adding Kyle Pitts as our tight end one. Going back to 2018 now, we're back with the Browns. The Cleveland Browns select Denzel Ward. Denzel Ward, the defensive back. I hope he has a good card because 70 overall Jeff Okuda is not going to cut it for us. Oh, thank God. He's got a 96 overall team of the year, and it's under 100K due at 97.5. He always plays super well in Madden. Okuda's going to move to cornerback number two, and our new cornerback number one, of course, is Denzel Ward. A high overall build selection, so you know we're in an early year here. This is 2014. The Cleveland Browns have traded the fourth pick to the Buffalo Bills. Oh, they traded up with the Browns. Shocker. The Buffalo Bills select 
Sammy Watkins. Sammy Watkins, the Clemson wide receiver. There's no way he has a good card. I doubt it. Yeah, his best is 88 overall veterans player. Dang, it feels like just yesterday he was playing at Clemson. So the fact that he's a veterans player makes me kind of laugh. But for now, we've got our second wide receiver in Sammy Watkins. But I'm really hoping by the end of this, we get a better wide receiver. Man, the offense is really struggling. One year prior in 2013, we have an Eagles selection. The Philadelphia Eagles select... Lane Johnson. Lane Johnson. We've got our next offensive lineman, and I think it's going to be our other offensive tackle. Yep, we've got our right tackle. It's a zero chill card for 40,000 coins. He's a 93 overall. And I'm okay with having a 93 overall at right tackle because I really don't feel like offensive linemen are that important in this game. Just three more offensive lineman spots to go. On to 2011 for the Cincinnati Bengals. The Cincinnati Bengals select A.J. Green. Wide receiver, Georgia. I didn't even know he went to Georgia. AJ Green's a tall wide receiver. He's got to have a good card in this game, even though he's not, you know, as good as he once was. All he's got is a 91 overall flash. But right now it's not available. I have to place a bid for this card. Thankfully, Joe Bruin has four of them. So we're just going to add him to the lineup. And our new wide receiver, too, is AJ Green. Moving on to the fifth overall pick, we have the Buccaneers. We're in 2019 as Goodell walks up here. Oh, he's got someone with him. I'm joined by Casey Reynolds. A make a wish kid. Tampa Bay Buccaneer select. Devin White. Devin White, the speedy linebacker. I know for a fact he's got to have a good card in Madden. It looks like he's actually got a Super Bowl card for 75,000 coins. That's going to be his best card. Not an insanely good card, but like not too bad and relatively cheap. Devin White is our new middle linebacker one. We just need one more linebacker, but we still need safeties and a defensive back. The second player we're going to add from the fifth overall pick. The Jacksonville Jaguars select. Jalen Ramsey. He was so good on the Jaguars. Still is really good now, but man, he was dominant. This is probably one of the better picks that the Jaguars have ever had. And I know for a fact he recently got a really good card. 500,000 coins. A 99 overall Sugar Rush Limited. Jalen Ramsey. And to no one's surprise, he's going to be our new cornerback one. They were still the Redskins at this time. 2015, they had RG3 as their quarterback. The Washington Redskins select... Brandon Scherf. Brandon Scherf. He's a tackle in here, but in the game, I know he's a right guard. He got three cards this year. He's an elite. A Gridiron Guardians and a free agent card. All right, we're, we're going to pick up this free agent card, and one of our guard spots is finally taken up. Our starting right guard, free agent, Brandon Scherf. Since that draft, they've lost RG3, and they've changed team names twice. On to the sixth overall pick. We're jumping to 2018. The Indianapolis Colts select... Quentin Nelson. He is the best guard I think ever drafted in the NFL. I think he was injured this year, but he's got to have a good Madden card, right? Yeah, 95 overall Redux, so he really doesn't have that good of a card for as good of a player as he actually is. Now that Quentin Nelson takes over our left guard one spot, all we're missing in our offense is a center. And in 2017, we have yet another Jet selection. The New York Jets select Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams. The safety that you either love or hate. There is no in between. Madden loves this guy every year. I bet he has like 50 cards. Oh, no, really not? He only's gotten like three cards this year. We'll go ahead and pick up the Redux here for 162k. Our new strong safety is 95 overall Redux. Jamal Adams. He went big for us in our last video. And our third, sixth overall pick comes from 2007. Washington Redskins take... LaRon Landry. LaRon Landry, the safety. I think he has like a Campus Heroes card. And there's only one up for grabs at 64K. Well, at least both of our safeties are now taken care of. We just need another middle linebacker and a center. For our next pick, we're actually jumping past round seven onto round eight in the 2020 NFL Draft. The Arizona Cardinals select... Isaiah Simmons. Yes, another Clemson alum. And one of my favorite players, Isaiah Simmons, which I know for a fact he has a linebacker card. So that's why we're going to be able to put him at our middle linebacker number two. A 90 overall for 20,000 coins, a rising star card. A 90 overall Isaiah Simmons middle linebacker is our middle linebacker too. We had to jump all the way to pick number 18 overall for the 2019 draft. I guess people don't like drafting centers at a high overall spot. The Minnesota Vikings select... Garrett Bradbury. Center from North Carolina State, Garrett Bradbury. I was very surprised to see a lot of tackles, a lot of guards, not very many centers picked because I feel like that's an important position. Looks like his best overall is this team builder, 93 overall for 79,000 coins. But finally, we've got our starting center. There are literally no fullbacks that have been drafted that are in Madden still. So we're just going to jump back to the 2017 overall draft at pick number four. Jacksonville Jaguars select... 
Leonard Fournette. The running back out of LSU. So he actually got a playoffs card, a 94 overall for 60,000 coins. And starting fullback one, his overall actually drops to 80. So he is not good in the fullback position, but he was like the next running back taken after Saquon. We ended up building a 93 overall team. It's really not that bad of a team that Roger Goodell picked here. But if you like this video, you're going to love this video where I let 50 different store packs choose my entire team.